welcome the appliance dude is here otherwise known as jonathan here at curdles in westchester county bringing you all that honest to good appliance information behind the sounds of the funky drummer let's get to I it i want to dedicate today's segment to a brand that at one point was very very close to my heart and then we uh we were estranged uh for a, a little while um but now it's back in the fold and it's called electrolux icon what's an electrolux icon um Icon is actually the Electrolux appliance line that was actually Electrolux's first appliance line that was available here. The problem that I've always had with Electrolux Icon is that, in my opinion, Electrolux didn't treat it in a very iconic fashion. It was introduced, um, you know, at the big party in the city at New York City, and um, uh, but you couldn't see it anywhere. They, a couple of dealers had it on display. They did put it on display at some the Relais Chateau townhouse in Manhattan in a working kitchen. But the problem has always been that people haven't been able to see it. Um, and then they came out with the other Electrolux line, which was uh, a step down in, in price. And that was the line, of course, that Kelly Ripa has been ripping um, all of her commercials where she's running around her manic style, doing her thing, cupcakes, laundry, this, that, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of where Electrolux threw their weight behind and I, Icon was just kind of there and again as I said not really um, being positioned in an iconic fashion. This was really when it came out in the early 2000s, 2003, 2004. This was really the only line that you could go to from if you had like your G profiles of the world and then um, maybe KitchenAid, and then there was a gap, and then you had to go to the pro stuff. I mean, there was no Bertazzoni back then. Um, there was no, there, there was no G Cafe. KitchenAid did not have the Pro Line series. Uh, there was no Viking D3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is the big proposition for Icon, <clears throat> at least the way that I present it. It truly, truly offers some of the best value in the high-end space. Now, this is not. Let's get a couple of things straight here. If you're looking for a Wolf, um, if you're looking for a professional, you know, Thermador, Viking, you know, you can't really put Icon in that category. Though they do have a quote unquote pro range, um, I don't really put it in that category. I, I, I see this as a direct competitor for like Vikings D3, uh, the, the Bertazzoni Pro stuff. They have every category. Um, refrigeration, for example, they offer uh, French door refrigerators, 36 inches, um, <clears throat> both with and without dispenser. I always stay, stay away from the dispenser models. You know, Electrolux has a, has a sorted and twisted history with, uh, with external dispensers, though they have been fixed. I just wouldn't go near it. Um, um, so they have their French door, 36 counter depth. They have side by sides. They also have a, th um, a 42 inch built in, which they're still making and actually was rated very high. I think it was in Consumer Reports. Um, it, and it would probably be priced a bit less than the other 42 built ins uh, from the monograms and you know, whomever else, Viking, et cetera. Um, uh, they also have what, are, um, what we call them the twins, and that's a 30 inch all fridge and a 30 inch all freezer. You put them together, there's a kit that connects them on the top and it looks like one big mass of stainless. It looks cool though, we used to have it here on display. People loved it. Um, you basically create a 60 inch unit. It's very, you know, it's, it's a statement. There's a real statement in the kitchen, and, but it's not that much money putting the units together. So um, that's kind of cool refrigeration wise. They also have refrigerator drawers. They have an ice maker. On to the cooking. Um, you know, the dishwashers are like whatever. They work, they're fine, whatever. But the cooking, their sweet spot are cooktops and wall ovens. They have induction cooktops. I've always felt they had the best induction cooktops for the, for the money in the business, 30s and 36s. Um, the wall ovens, they have 30s, um, double single, they have actually, um, they do have a, um, a combination one has a microwave on top of a pull down door as well as a single wall oven underneath it and the E30 EW, I think it's the E30 W85. That double wall oven, to this day, I will put that wall oven up against any other double wall oven on the market. Um, the price is in the low to mid 3000s, and the thing smokes, rolling racks, beautiful appointments on it. Every one that we've sold out of here, people swear by. That is probably the best value in the whole Electrolux Icon line, let alone appliance land in general. 
Um, you can do a range as well. They have 30s, they have 36s, uh, dual fuel and gas. So uh, I think at one point Decor was making these ranges for them, but I believe Electrolux has brought them in-house as of a few years ago. Um, so as you can see, they offer a wide assortment of appliances, so it's easy to put a whole kitchen together. So that's it. Thank you, and uh, I will talk to you later. Peace.